Today we're going to be installing the top mounted fan shroud that I've created. I've made Y spliced wires so that we can easily connect this into our fan wire and get us started for ability to print PLA uh, as the stock motors do tend to get a little warm and this fan should help those stay cool and keep our PLA cool from warping around the hot motors. Uh, so with this I'm going to just show you how to easily install that. On the mount there's a 3M screw and we're going to be using that on our back plate. I've included a screw for that. That's taking a M3 8 millimeter screw and we're going to be using a two point hex bit. You can also use your two point hex wrench. To make this easy I've made a quad fusion wire array index and this allows you to see how everything is connected. So to install this easy without too much complication I just want to disconnect all of these wires Keeping in mind you want to hold your connection coupler and not your wire while you're disconnecting these as you don't want to ruin any of the connection wires that are already crimped in these which is easily able to do if you're not disconnecting the connectors. So doing that just makes this a whole lot easier and you can then maneuver your wires a little better. In the slot that I've provided here we're going to take these two fan connectors and put them into that slot as we're moving the head down. Mount that bottom screw in. So the way that this harness mounts on, you shouldn't have too much of a wiggle. And the way that I designed it, we now have the wire harness on the back so that that takes all the support when the head is moving. And now the wires no longer do that. So I like to have a pair of pliers or a pair of tweezers on hand so that I can just help uh, these connectors uh, more up into that space. So the one on the left, which should be on your left, is going to be your side fans. And the one on the right is going to be the back fan that we're going to be tapping into for our Y split. So we're going to hold the tweezers at the base with that connector, set that in. And snap. So now we can take our wire array and with our corresponding index put everything back together. I've tried to make my wire array slightly organized uh, by having the right side motors on one side and the left side motors on another and my two back fans amongst my heat block and thermostat. So I kind of have the fans off to the back, the thermostat and heat block off to the right, and then the corresponding motors for the left and the right. And that's just kind of like a nice way to have them organized for when you're doing this. So the first thing I want to do is put my yellow and orange wire connected to the side fans. So in the same fashion with my tweezers, I'm going to grab that connector on the inside and snap that into place. So as you can see, the little slot that I designed to hold those two, it's going to be a nice spot to just have that. From here, I want to take the Y splitter for the top mounted fan and my green and blue wire for the back fan and make that connection. So now our top mounted fan is connected to our wire array. Again, going back to the uh, double black wires are gonna be our heat block, brown and red, our thermostat, and our corresponding motors. Purple is number one, blue is zero, two is orange, and three is green. Now that your wires are all connected, you can run your motor wires down along the 
along the gutter rails on your shroud and just kind of push everything back to where you feel it looks comfortable and using your uh, wire shroud kind of tuck everything back into a harness on the top mounted fan shroud. Use your included zip ties, put them along the section to keep your wire shroud in place. I like to have a pair of pliers to help me tighten these. And then we'll just cut these off. So now you can see that your wires don't move. All the tension is now in that wire harness. So that's how you install the top mounted fan shroud. I hope that was easy enough. Feel free to hit me up in the M3D quad users forum. I hope everything helps you print PLA a little easier and happy printing.